Well, the U.S. military picked up a new handgun, announced January 19th, 2017, the SIG P320. So now we are in the interesting position to be looking at the replica of the newest piece of historic U.S. military, the Beretta 92A1. Now, if you're watching a serious gun channel with tattoos and yelling and running, you'd be listening to a lot of intense chatter about the military versions of the M9, the A1 update versus the original M9. And if you were reading through the history of Beretta, you would be reading about how the slide on high rounds count M9s or Beretta 92s could come back and injure the shooter in the face. This is not a hardcore channel. We're not going to talk about all of the military history, but we are going to talk about this replica and see if we can get it to misbehave if we poke it with a stick. Now this falls in the realm of don't try this at home. What I did to get this to misbehave, obviously wearing safety glasses, pointing down range, I pulled the trigger and slowly released that hammer to a point where it caught. And then I used the hammer drop, which is also the safety. Now in the fully cocked position, when you use that safety as a hammer decock lever, the hammer comes forward, but does not fire around in the, what I'm going to call a half cocked position. If you try to use that hammer drop safety, you tap around off. You watch it carefully, the slide actually moves slightly rearward, but you don't get the full blowback force. Is that a huge safety concern? In my mind, it's not. If your gun is loaded, you should be exercising safe gun practices and always have it pointed downrange. So it should be fine. Just be aware of it. The other thing I love about this gun is it's all metal. Everything that you expect to be metal, the slide, the frame, all of it is metal. Sure, the grips are plastic, but I mean, a Beretta 92 in 9mm also has plastic grip panels. And all the things you would expect to find on the Breda are here, double to single action, I mentioned the hammer drop safety before. It's just a lovely replica that has a good weight and feel to it. The magazine is heavy, it's weighted, the CO2 chamber's in there, which works great with just a mild, tiny little bit of leakage when I cranked down to seal that CO2 powerlet. The follower spring is a little bit stiff, kind of hard to get your nail in there sometimes to bring it all the way back down past that loading port. It works well enough. It has last shot hold open. The blowback does waste CO2 and you're always going to get some mathematician in here who's like, I know fluid dynamics and I can tell you that any blowback design is going to waste CO2. Yeah, but it's fun. Lighten up. Don't you know Beretta is spelled F-U-N? when they put a little switch here, especially by the hammer. What's this? A happy little switch. When you really want to get the adrenaline going, you can see I'm all smiles when I use this thing. And maybe one of the funniest things in this whole review is watching myself flinch. It just cracks me up. If your friends make fun of you because you flinch when you shoot a firearm, you can just point them to this video. Hey, look, John, John flinches when he shoots BB guns. I know. I just read the part about how the slide will come off sometimes and hit people in the face, so I was a little intimidated, even by the CO2 replica here. This is what we have, a gun that looks so serious, like the military, the historic military pistol of the 80s and 90s and 2000s. And then they put a little fun switch on it, and it's just super happy. And I love this gun because it has kind of that backwards humor and lighthearted fun to it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby. Please follow us on Instagram. You can support us on Patreon. I know I do a lot of my other reviews on Patreon as well, but we love support. Any support will help all of my videos keep and maintain my equipment. So please check in the description for the links. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.